Hello, Internet. Welcome to Udacity After Dark. Uh, I'm Jessica Ullman, and I am a project manager here at Udacity. And I am Cameron Pittman. I am a course developer here, making front-end web development courses. And this is sort of, I would say, you know, experiment. We're, yeah. we're going to see how this goes. But we find a lot of interesting tidbits throughout the day, and we think that it's really fun knowledge to share, and we thought we would try to share some of that knowledge with you guys playing along at home. Yeah. So Jessica, I have a question for you. I have an answer. <laughs> um, have you ever wanted to play a prank on a friend? Yeah. Me too. I, I don't know, it's, it's obviously something that, that's fun to do. In fact, once I'm in college, I um, accidentally sort of destroyed one of my roommate's laptops. That's kind of not good. Yeah, I, in the end, I kind of regretted it. But it was, at the time, funny for a few seconds. Um, I went and changed way too many settings on uh. his computer. It was in uh, just like a different language. I think I like somehow like destroyed its ability to like go to Windows. I don't honestly. So did you somehow did. get into the registry and just start messing with I, the files? I think I was like drunk with power and just oh. started doing everything I could. Anyways, yeah. so he had to get it repaired, and I felt like the biggest jerk. Um, but you know, I think the little hacks that we're going to do today um, aren't nearly as uh, mean. Right. You know, they're definitely reversible. So, anyways, I've got my Facebook page open, mm -hmm. um, and you know, it's a pretty standard Facebook page. The cool thing is, it's a website. Facebook is a website like, like any other. And really? I know, right? Mind blown. <laughs> and Facebook, uh, like any other website, can be edited using dev tools. Hmm. Um, developer tools are provided by browsers. Uh, this time I'm using Chrome, but mm -hmm. you could use whatever browser you wanted to. And uh, they let you basically inspect and change every aspect about a website. Um, you can figure out exactly what's going on at pretty much all times, which is I, pretty cool. I like where this is going. You like I, this? I think I know where you're going with this. Yeah. So anyways, so I've got my page up here. And let's go ahead and make some changes. So I'll go up to View. And I'll go to Developer and Developer Tools. And that opens up, oh, Whoa. this scary That's, message yeah. here. So this is what this is. Uh, this is Facebook telling people who don't know what they're doing that if somebody else told them to come into DevTools mm. and specifically come into the console and make changes that they're actually probably about to get hacked, which is true. We won't be using the console right. here. Yeah. Uh, this is a JavaScript console that lets you run commands against the website. Um, and some of these commands run against Facebook would actually probably give somebody access to your mm -hmm. account. So don't do that. We do not condone the use of that, full disclaimer. But Correct. for fun. Because we're not actually trying to hack your account. No. We're, we're doing things that are playful and reversible. Right. Um, so for that, we'll come over here to the elements pane. Mm -hmm. Um, and the elements pane is showing you basically the structure of the web page. Um, it looks a lot like HTML, and HTML is used to generate here uh, the elements pane, but it's actually different than the HTML that the page got because the elements uh, represents the DOM, and the DOM can change over time. So anyways, it does represent what's on the page. Right. So looking here, is there anything you would like to change? I think we should probably start with your name. My name. Your name. Make it something a little more accurate. Something a little bit more accurate. Yeah. Well, let's see. This morning, I forgot to brush my teeth. Um, yeah, so I, I noticed. Think, I, think where we're, I think I know where we're going with this. So what I did is I clicked on this little magnifying glass. And you'll see that as I hover my mouse over different parts of the page, they get selected. Mm -hmm. And then when you click on a part of the page, it actually opens up uh, down here inside the elements pane. And Perfect. we can actually make changes. Mm -hmm. So it says Cameron Pittman. I can double click on it. Mm -hmm. And let's see, let's change my first name to Farty McFartster Pittman. And I'll press Enter. And now we can see that my name on the page has actually changed. Yep. So if I were to, let's say, leave my laptop sitting around and then come back to it later, I might have a momentary panic attack. Right. And, or wonder how that, that happened. Or wonder how so many people know about you know, my gingivitis. Yeah. Well, sitting next to you, it's 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 pretty hard to miss. Yeah. yeah, yeah, lovely. All right, let's see what else. What what else should we do? You got a lot of friends there. Yes. I mean, I I wonder how that happened. You'd be surprised how persuasive I can be, and you know how easily people accept Facebook friend requests. That's true. So what I did just now is I right clicked on this button here, mm -hmm. right clicked on the friend button, and I went to inspect element, inspect element. Uh, and that actually automatically opens up this element inside DevTools. Mm -hmm. All right. 
And so we can see that, all right, it's a link because it has an A tag here. Let's open it up. And look at that. There's that number, 1,012. Mm -hmm. So just like before, I can double click on it. And I feel like what you're about to say is zero is a better representation. I would say so. Yeah, zero. Yeah. All right. Maybe it's worse than that. Negative one, friends. I don't even, I'm not even <laughs> I don't, I, How did that even happen? And I'll hit enter here. And now you'll notice Aww. that my friend count dropped by 1,013. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. I know, it's a sad day. It's even worse than that kid on South Park. I mean, he <laughs> had no friends. <laughs> All right, anything else? How about, I think that picture, picture yeah. looks way too much like me. <laughs> um, so I've, I've actually pulled up another picture of a cute cat here because yeah. I know what the lady's like. It's it's true. Oh, Cat man. pictures are an adorable thing. I wish I hadn't said that on camera. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I'll come back over here. So I copied the URL for that image. And so I'll come over here. And I don't want to actually change it. I just want to change it in DevTools. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to click that button. Instead, I'm going to do it down in DevTools here. And we can see that we've got this, it keeps popping up, uh, this image tag. It says IMG. Um, and that just means it's an image. Um, and it's got source. It's got an attribute called source, which now, if I hover over it, it shows my picture. And obviously, we want to change that. So I will right click and do edit as HTML, because that's the easiest way of doing it. And I can start changing it. So let's go into the HTML and click and click. There we go. And I will paste the new URL here and just click off it. Aww. And now, my Facebook page is a lot more adorable it with a cute kitty it up there. It really, really is. It's, again, an improvement. I just, mm -hmm. We just keep making things better. I know. Thank yeah. you so much for your help. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I do what I can. I really, mm -hmm. I really do. Yeah, it's good that you care. Good news is, this is not permanent. We mm -hmm. are not actually changing my Facebook page. So if I hit refresh, everything probably, and it looks like it does, everything goes back to normal. Right. And that's, that's a beautiful thing. I mean, because you don't want to be that jerk that, mm -hmm. you know, changes your friend's page, actually goes through, changes the image, changes their name, and yeah. it takes them like 20 minutes to get their page back to normal. Right, right, because you go into settings and all that jazz. Right. And, yeah. I mean, that's, and you might not even have that much time either. Mm -hmm. I mean, you might not have the time to change everything. Nice and that's quick it. way to provide a momentary panic attack, mm -hmm. like, a, like a good friend. Right. Like good friends. It, it shows you care. Mm -hmm. It really does. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this first lesson uh, in our experimental Udacity After Dark segment. If you have any feedback for us, we'd love to hear what you think. Maybe there's also topics that you'd like us to cover. So hit us up on YouTube and let us know there. And don't forget, you could also hit us up on Twitter or Google Plus or whatever other social network we feel like putting up on the page right now. Sounds good. Well, yeah. So until next time. See ya. We'll see ya.